Now we're going to do a little dry fly. And it's a little bit different because we're going to use an extra fine hook with a turned up eye. Size 14. Okay, we, we start off with the uh, priming the hook. Normal fashion. And as always, I usually leave a little lump at the very bend. And that helps the tail feathers spread a little bit. Keeps them upright. Take a little feather, black feather, and take some of the hackles off of it, six to eight hackles. Get out of there. Approximately the length of the shank, which isn't quite a normal size. You bring it back approximately halfway down the shank, tie it in. Using that loop system everybody talks about. Bring the thread back about halfway. Then we use some wool. In this case I'm using black. You can use just about any color you want. And it's usually a, usually a Fentex. You take one strand out of the four, and you pinch wrap it on, bring your line, your thread back to approximately two thirds, and because I got a rotary vise, I'm going to half hitch mine off. Tie a nice, get over there, tapered body. Just tie off your body material. Trim it. Then you select nice little feather, hackle feather, one and a half times the hook gap, and I don't have a gapper but approximately, right? You can tie in from the point or the other end, which I Depends on whatever you want to do. And I'm going to tie this off again because of the fact that I have a rotary vise. And I hope I don't break my feather. Can't see past your hand. Hmm? Three, four wraps. I make my head. A couple half hitches. And whip finish it. And you're going to find whip finishing with an upturn eye is just a little bit different and doing it with downturn eye. There we go. And that's it. One. But on a good dry fly, the hackles, the bend of your, you know, the bottom of your hook and the tail should all sit on the water at the same time. That's that's an indication of a, a fly that's done really good. None of, none of these aren't necessarily perfect. There, there's one there. So that's what determines the length of the hackle is. Well, make it balanced in the water. Yeah, and your tail. Yeah. If, you, you know, if you tie a lot of dry flies, 
that's the way they should sit, just about like yeah. that one. The tail, the hook, and the hackle all mm -hmm. sit on the water at the same time. Yeah. That will support your fly on the water properly. Mm -hmm. and, it, and if you're lucky, it'll catch fish. Mm -hmm.